I thought of you yesterday when we're sitting there watching Manziel drop and watching Bridgewater drop, and they said all the right things afterward. You went through the same thing last year. Gino, can you tell me what it feels like? I mean, you're just really anxious, you know, the entire time, man. You really go for every single pick, uh, every single guy that's there because you really want to know which team you're going to be on. And, uh, you know, a lot of it, you know, when when you think about it, you know, your dreams coming true and, uh, you know, just being an NFL player, you know, that's really – what you're looking forward to. But uh, once you get drafted, you know, that entire weight is lifted off your shoulders. And, you know, you just start thinking about football the football again. But, um, you know, during that time, man, it's just very, very nerve-wracking. You know, you don't know what to expect. You don't know which team's going to call. And, uh, you know, you just got to wait your turn. Manziel said he will not play with a chip on his shoulder because of that. Do you believe him? Um, you know, I believe him, yeah. I mean, and, and, you know, every guy has his own, um, you know, own, own sense of motivation. And um, for me, you know, I, I kind of used it as, uh, you know, that driving gadget. You know, although I, I've always played the game the same way, you know, I just think of it as, you know, just some extra motivation, you know, maybe if I need it from time to time. Gino, do you sit there and, you know, you were expected to be higher than you were. You lasted into the second day. Do you think they were and were you? Or you get embarrassed as each name is called and you're not called yet? Oh, no. Um, you know, it's not embarrassing um, at all. And, you know, from, from what I can remember when, uh, you know, when another guy was drafted, um, you know, I would get up and congratulate that guy just because, um, you know, I wanted to continue to show that gratitude and continue to, you know, be a guy of high character. And, uh, you know, I just remember, you know, every time a guy would get picked, you know, they'd bring the camera directly over to my table. And, uh, you know, I just, you know, I just tried to handle it the best way I could. So, you know, I'd get up and congratulate the person and, you know, sit back down and you know, just try and take the pressure off of my family. And, uh, you know, like I said, because it's very nerve-wracking. You don't know what to expect during that time. Gino, do you believe that too much stock is put in the pro day and the combine? You know, I think they do it for a reason. You know, I don't know, you know, whether it is or isn't, but you know, I, I do know there's a reason for it. There's a me- method to the madness, um, and there are scouts who, who put in a ton of time and a ton of work. So, uh, you know, whatever you know they do to to come up with what they come up with, you know, as far as judging guys and uh, you know putting together a board, you know, I do, I do think there's something to it. All right, what do you think of Calvin Pryor? What do you know about him? You know, I've uh, seen his highlight tape, man. He's, uh, he's, he's a hard hitter. He's a guy who brings some excitement to the defense. Um, you, know, you can see him out there flying around making plays. And you know, I know Rex loves those type of guys. I uh, can't wait to see, you know, the packages they put in for him and the places that uh, he ends up because, you know, he can definitely be an impact player for us. I know it's not up to you, but do you find yourself looking and scouting some of the receivers that might be available the rest of this draft and start to wonder how you match up with them possibly being a teammate? You know, well, I've, I've got to, gotten to know a few of the guys. Um, you know, I was down at IMG, and uh, I was just working out, and uh, they happened to do that, um, you know, that wide receiver deal for NFL Network with Michael Irvin. So uh, they asked me to come over and kind of talk to some of the guys, throw some balls to them. So I got to know a few of them, and, you know, they all seem to be, you know, really good guys, hardworking guys, you know, coming from some great programs. So, um, you know, I know that, you know, with John Isaac and, you know, the rest of our scouting staff and, and Rex, you know, I know that they're going to make a decision that's best for our team and for our organization. So no matter who we get, you know, I'm fine with it. And you know, I just look forward to getting them on the field and, uh, you know, all of us just growing together. Gino, obviously you're a very important part. Do you know what they're going to do? I mean, do they tell you? Do they let you in on it? Or are you watching TV yesterday and just as surprised when they pick Calvin Pryor? You know, they don't. Uh, they really don't, man. They don't let you in on it. You know, you really don't know. And that's something that you know, I've come to realize. You know, last year I thought, you know, during the draft, I'm like, man, we got to know. You know, someone has got to know where I'm going. But, you know, they really don't know. And it's all <laughs> circumstantial. And, uh you know, really it comes down to, um, you know, who they think is the best guy for the team. So, you know, I'm, I'm watching like everyone else, and, I, you know, I just look forward to seeing who we get. Now, in this time, do you start to hunger for football? Do you start to miss it even more when you start to see all these highlights and watch the draft? Man, I've, uh, you know, I've already been you know, hungry for it. You know, I can remember, you know, since the, since the time, you know, we finished the game in Miami. Um, you know, I went right to work at IMG and was working out and, you know, just, you know, trying to prepare myself. And, you know, it just seems like forever. You know, we, we had an off season and then, um, you know, I was so excited to get back and, you know, just get back into the group of workouts and being around the guys. And then, uh, you know, just so excited for this week of throwing with the guys and, um, you know, can't wait to put on the pad. So it's just an ongoing process, but you really got to take it step by step and, you know, not look ahead. 
Gino, last year you stood behind an NFL offensive line. You looked over a defensive line on the, in the NFL as well. And one of the big knocks we hear against a lot of these quarterbacks, well, they're too small. Manziel's under six foot. Do you think you have to be really tall to succeed in the NFL? Um, no, like I said, it, it varies with every single guy. You know, I think the main thing is that you have to be able to, first of all, you know, just be a good decision maker, you know, see, see the defense, um, you know, know your offense, know where to go with the ball, have, know your outlets versus the blitz, and then um, be able to make plays when sometimes when there's nothing there, you know, when the pocket breaks down or, um, you know, when, 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 when they're all covered, which, you know, happens often in the NFL. You know, you got guys on defense who get paid a lot of money too, so when, when it's not there, just be able to, you know, maybe scramble and, you know, pick up a few yards or, uh, you know, get outside of the pocket, extend the play, and then, you know, find a guy on a scramble drill. Uh, you're going to be speaking today uh, to children at the City Kids event before the Mets take on the Phillies at City Field. What, what will you tell these kids, Gino? Well, uh, you know, working with the you know YMCA and City, um, you know, gives me a tremendous opportunity to, to reach out to our community and to, uh, to speak to some young kids. Uh, and I'm young myself, so I'm not too far away from these guys. But um, just to kind of share my story with them, um, you know, some of my uh, the obstacles I've had to overcome in life, and then you know, just being blessed to be um, you know in the NFL and you know, living out my dream, and you know, still working hard at it, never being content, and uh, you know, really just trying to help them you know, be, you know become genuine you know adults. And you know, I, I've had people um, who reached back into my community and who helped me, so I just want to do the same for them.